in 0.2 miles, arrive at East Buster's Mainville, on right. Arriving at East Foster's Mainville, on right. This is 677 East Foster's Mainville Road, which is a full brick, four bedroom, four and a half bathrooms, two story house, custom built on one acre lot. It has a two car garage attached and a detached two car garage with a loft, full HVAC, and plumb for a full bath. Let's walk through the rest of the yard.
this is the owner, Rick Nixon. He's the owner of this gorgeous house that we've been touring. And uh, this is a very custom built home. You actually designed it and built it yourself, right, Rick? Yes, we did. You have a lot of extras put into this because you are a plumber by trade, so you oh. have all the updated and the futuristic plumbing advances in this particular home. Yes, we do. For example. And this is our dream home, and the reason we decided to sell it, I'm retiring now, and we're just downsizing. The house is just too big for me and my wife, and, uh, but we had planned this, you know, for the future. And I built the house approximately, approximately four and a half years ago. And I built the house, uh, been in this trade for almost 50 years. I built several other homes, and we've got rental properties that we've done. And any time I've ever built a home or did rental properties, it's been pretty well custom and quality in the two. Start off with the foundation was poured, nine foot walls, um, two inch water main coming in. We installed a sprinkler system, and the reason for that, the building inspectors, which I've known up here for quite a few years, I was told in the future they're wanting to make a law in Ohio come close to it that all houses built new will have a sprinkler system in it of some kind. We have an auto system, which is drinkable water, which takes all the contaminations out of water, and it goes to all the refrigeration uh, systems, water dispensers. That's the auto system there where the filters gets changed. We put a water softener in, which is Steady yard. You can dial up on the phone and it'll tell you what's going on in your softener. You hold the phone to it. Uh, state of the art. Of course, the house is total electric. We installed two furnaces, and the reason for two furnaces is a lot of builders don't do that. I have talked to many, many old timers that's installed heat. They said it's almost impossible to heat a house or cool it evenly with one furnace. Everything you can put on these furnaces, the most modern carrier units. It has the blue light, get rid of the germs out as it comes through to return air. Um, it's just the top that you can get on the furnaces. We also installed a radon pit in the, in the house. That's something a lot of people are concerned with, so we went ahead and did that. The house has a 400 amp service, which is not normal to a house, using 250. So we installed two panels, which makes it a 400 amp, plenty of electric. Install a central vac which is a new tone out throughout the house. Now you have three full kitchens in this house. Three full kitchens. We what was the purpose of that? Well, we have my mother-in-law lives with us, and on the second floor we have a mother-in-law suite. We have the RO under her water. We have a kitchenette up there with a microwave, refrigerator, freezer. Uh, we have the main kitchen up on the first floor, which was custom built by a guy up in Amish country. He also did a hardwood floor. Uh, downstairs, we have a little kitchen downstairs with the RO again, refrigerator, in case we entertain. Or something. Now, outside you have a, besides a two-car garage attached to the house, there's a separate two-car garage with yes. a second floor. Yes. And it also has fully heated and air conditioning, has a rough end for a bathroom in it, and also a rough end for a sinking hole when it's cold. Very cool. Uh, it has a separate service, 250 amp service, or 200 amp, I'm sorry, 200 amp service, separate coming into that garage. In the so garage? In the garage. Oh, wow. so Any other updates? I mean, you've covered just about everything. Well, <laughs> the downstairs here, it's completely insulated in the ceiling, so you don't hear it upstairs. The bathroom walls between the rooms and the bedrooms are insulated fully for sound barrier. Uh, we've tried to cover everything we can. You know, I built the house, like I said, our dream home. So. Well, good. Well, I'm going to put this video together and get it out there into the entire world, and let's see if we can't find the right buyer for you. Thanks, dude. All right, thank you.